Hey everyone, welcome to Night Graphics. In this video, we are going to draw this design which can be used as a background or as a template. So let's start working on it. Create a new document, enter size 1440 as width and 900 as height. First of all, make sure that the smart guides are on. If you are unsure, go to the view menu and check it here. All right. Now create a rectangle covering the whole artboard. Change the stroke to none and fill it with this shade of red. It is a kind of uh, blood red color and it is there in the default list of swatches. Now go to the layers panel and lock this layer and create a new layer. Now come to the center of this artboard. My rectangle tool is still on. Press alt key and click once here. And now we'll draw a big square measuring 2000 by 2000. Let's zoom out a bit so that we can see the whole square. Now we will fill it with a gradient. I'm picking a ready-made gradient from this list. Here in the group of brights, pick red orange. This gradient needs some adjustment in the gradients panel. So this is fine so far. Now pick the ellipse tool, change the fill color to white and come up with this corner. Smart guides are helping me here. Now here, press alt key and click once. Enter 25 as width and height. Draw a same ellipse on this corner as well. Ok now I'm gonna select these two ellipses and then go to object and make blend. Double click the blend tool button here and in specified steps enter 65. Alright, now this blend is selected here and now double click on the black arrow tool to open the move dialog box. Enter horizontal value as 0 and vertical value as 30 and click copy. Now press ctrl D to repeat the transform action we performed. Create enough copies to cover the whole square. Now we have a bunch of blends here. Come to the layers panel. In this layer, we have all the blends and that big square. Lock this square and now select all these blends. Go to the object menu and expand the selection. Now all these ellipses are separated and with these selected, go to the object menu and make this whole selection a compound path. Come back to layers panel and unlock the big square. Press Ctrl A to select all the circles and this big square. Open the pathfinder panel and choose minus front. Right now this whole shape is a compound shape. With this selected, double click on rotate tool and enter rotate value as 60 degrees. Ok now we'll clean up the unnecessary part of this big square. Come to the layers panel. Hide this compound path. Pick rectangle tool. Choose fill to none. Draw an output sized rectangle. Come to the layers panel and unhide this compound shape. Press ctrl A to select all the shapes and in pathfinder panel choose divide command. With this selected, go to object menu and ungroup it. Now select this outer big part and delete it. Alright. Now for the final move, select this shape. Go to the object menu, envelope distort and choose make with mesh. Make 3 rows and 4 columns. Now deselect it. Pick the white arrow tool and then select this anchor point of mesh and move it like this. And repeat this action on different anchor points. And here our design is ready. I hope you like this tutorial. Leave your comments and suggestions below. And do subscribe to the channel for more upcoming tutorials. Goodbye for now.